Ooh, welcome guys. So in this video, uh, I will introduce the Fibonacci series, and uh, I will prove these famous results uh, by both uh, by in two ways. So before I start, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so I already write as notes in this in this board so that we don't have to uh, spend time on it. Okay, so the the stupid uh, everybody knows about Fibonacci. Right? Starting F zero is zero, F one is one, F two is one, and F three is two. So and also. Uh, there is a canonical, uh, sorry, uh, there is a standard uh, uh, recursion formula, fn plus 2 is uh, equal to fn plus 1 plus fn. So each term is determined by the previous two terms. So uh, if you study high school or maybe go to college, that uh, people uh, will tell you that oh, fn has a general formula like this. So it's uh, 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 to the power n minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 to the power n. Okay, so uh, this 5 is usually called the so-called golden ratio. And also showing other phys like physics uh, or, or other, or, I mean, other subjects. Okay. okay, so the first one, I will prove this by so-called using the mathematical induction. And the second one, I will prove it by using the generating function. So this is somehow like the college method, this is a high school method, but okay, never mind. Okay, so for the first one, that uh, let's quickly see it. So n equals to 0, right? Just pull 0, 0, you get f0 is 0. zero. And equals to 1, you get this minus this, so you get uh, 1 over square root of 5, 2 times square root of 5, divided by 2, so it's 1, okay, f1. Okay, so the mirror is just show that the fn plus 2, the, the, the rest, right, so the rest is to show uh, fn plus 2 is equal to fn plus 1 plus fn, then f1 will come uh, will be Fibonacci, right, because the first two terms is already determined, so the second term, th third term, the fourth term will completely determine, okay. <coughs> Okay, so before I start, uh, let's quickly introduce some uh, some no some notation that uh, we will uh, we will like to use. Okay, so the first lemma that uh, I want to introduce is the this phi is called the golden ratio. So it's one plus square root of phi divided by two, and the phi inverse is that square root of phi minus one divided by two, and uh, this is one plus. So you can check that one plus phi inverse will be phi, and one minus phi will be negative phi inverse. So also it's just standard. Okay, so let's check fk plus fk plus one. Uh, this is fk, right? So notice that fk, the first term is is golden ratio, and the second term is the uh, is this is the negative uh, negative is the minus the uh, one over golden ratio. So it's this, and then the fk plus one is this. Okay, so uh, we can take out take out the fk plus one term in the first combine the first two terms, right? And then we get this. And then we also combine the second two terms as this. Okay. So now the the mysterious things happen because this one plus phi by the lemma, right? One plus y inverse by the lemma is just phi, and uh, this one minus y will be negative phi inverse, right? So combines you get the phi k plus two minus minus one over phi k plus two. So exactly f k plus two. Okay, so that's the proof. So actually, this lemma is uh, somehow like a trick. So if you're the first time you uh, try to figure out by your own, then uh, somehow uh, you will get stuck by uh, like this uh, square root of five, right? So I I usually think that if you use a golden ratio and uh, derive the property that you need to use in the proof, then everything will be clear. Okay. Okay, so the next things I want to talk is that uh, proof this uh, by so-called generating function. Probably this is showing your discrete mathematics or something, some some course. Okay, so let's uh, quickly dive into. And I already write down the answer, so we can just uh, look at and uh, step by step. So uh, let's generating g of x defined to be f n x power n n from zero to infinity. So starting is f zero, which is zero x plus, and f one is one, and f two is one. So x plus x squared. Okay, so I want to say I want to comment that uh, the generating function is like somehow like uh, just the just the the formal power sum. So the idea is that there's no guarantee that if you put the exotic series at least, then g of x will converge. We will have non-zero conversion radians. So the idea is that somehow in maybe in some exotic series, that the g of x can only be evaluated at x equals to zero. But uh, but generally, when people do the generating function, they assume that this fn is somehow well-behaved, or at least 
not not blow up so quickly, right? So, so I mean, if you that f n to be exponential n, then probably there's no, I think there's no non-zero uh, convergent radians. Ah, uh, but never mind. Okay. So n from zero to infinity f n plus two x n plus two, right, will be least. Uh, right. So because f n plus two is f n plus one and f n, right, and I use x plus n. Uh, power two, uh, plus two. Okay, so this, what is the right, uh, left hand side, right? The left hand side is the generating function, but omit the first term because it start at the, uh, quadratic, right? So it's g of x minus x, and this term, if you pull out x, right, you get a generating function, right? Omit the first term, but the first term is zero, and this term is that x squared g of x, right? So you get g, uh, one minus x minus x squared is x. Okay. So that means uh, g of x is x divided by 1 minus x minus x squared is negative x divided by x squared plus x minus 1. Okay. So uh, it has two roots. I call it r1 and r2, right? So by the formula that uh, the r1 is, I define r1 to be this one. So r1 is the plus sign term, which is 1 over the golden ratio, and the r2 is just minus the golden ratio. Okay. And uh, so we can expand the least two term, uh, uh, least fraction into least. Okay, because this is just x minus r one minus x minus r two, and the uh, and the uh, least uh, when you uh, combine, then you will get another five plus five one uh, five inverse term. So I plug in here. Okay, so this is as this, this, this. Okay, so uh, by the way, one plus well, one divided by five plus five inverse will be square root of five. Okay, so we got this. We got up to now. <coughs> okay, and x minus one over x minus r is can be as uh, so one over r x divided by r minus one, right? So this is just minus one divided by r into this. So this comes from uh, let's say one minus x is basically this. Okay. So now we can uh, we have two terms, right? So, and uh, we can use the formula. So the first term is a negative one and uh, this one, uh, this term, right? Because there's an original negative term. So original negative term is here and x to the power n and r is what? R is phi inverse. Right? So it's uh phi inverse to the power n will be phi inverse to the power n plus one. But phi inverse to the power n, right? But this r will times it, so it becomes this. And also the second term is the same, right? By by using this. Okay, so right. So combined we get the uh, we times x here, so we get x n plus one and the uh, a negative sign he go in so this is this one minus this one so you see this is clearly uh, what we have originally and the compare by definition this is this so we start i start from n plus one n plus one because the f zero is zero so we don't care this so compare these two compare these two we get our beautiful uh, fn is one over square root of five uh phi n minus one over s divided by one phi to n. so by the definition if you plug in the golden ratio Then uh, you will get the originally closed formula. Let's go closed form. All of, uh, I mean, all of in general, computer Fibonacci series by this way is not very quickly. Uh, okay, so that's for our videos. So in this video, we introduce two ways to compute the Fibonacci series closed form. So I think, I hope it will, uh, I, I guess there are many homeworks that uh, based on this problem. Okay, so that's it. I will see you guys in the next videos and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel.